What's really going on guys? My name is Eddie. You're watching Stay Cute to the Flavor. Please consider subscribing. For today, I am making a stuffed Anaheim pepper with some ground beef, potatoes, carrots, and veggies. Stay tuned. Okay, so real quick for the ingredients. That's some Anaheim peppers. Uh, you can use poblano. I'm using Anaheim today. and got some beef, carrot, potato, and onion. I'm going to season it all with some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna throw in some sauce right here. It's Guajillo chiles. Take Guajillo chiles, tomato, a little bit of onion, and garlic, salt and pepper to taste. That's what my sauce is made out of. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is grab a little bit of oil, whatever oil you have. Put some on your hands. Wipe it all over your hands and grab your pepper. Try to cover every little bit with that oil. This will help them roast easier and peel easier as well. All covered up. Now go put them up over open flame. You, once you have your pepper nice and roasted, it's gonna go into a plastic bag. Seal that up. Let it rest for around 15, maybe 10, 10 or 15 minutes. The skin will peel off easier. Okay, meanwhile my peppers are resting in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and just flip my onion. I'm going to cut it to nice thin little cubes. Little. Nice small pieces. The little dice of my potato as well. I'm going to grab my potato, cut thin slices, not too big, just one little cubes, just get it all together, little squares. Once I have them, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Okay, got me a hot skillet. Put just a little bit of oil. I'm going to go ahead and drop in my meat. Try to break it up. Go ahead and salt. And pepper. So my meat's almost cooked. Now all the way there, I'm gonna just put it to one side. And all that drippings. I'm trying to get rid of most of that dripping right there. You don't want all this in your meat. Okay. So now, meat's almost cooked. I want to add my potatoes in there. I cut them nice and small so they'll cook fast. My onion. and carrots. My salt again. And the pepper again. Much of it as you like. Sorry, it's a little bit dark, one of my lights went out. But this is your pepper after it's been sweated. You want to grab the skin and pull it off. 
just like that. See that? Peels up nice and easy. No problem. You can grab a paper towel. Wipe it with a paper towel. However you want. Get this nice and clean. Okay, so now that my paper's been cleaned out, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and just take my time. I cut it open just like that. Using a spoon, I'm gonna just go ahead and try to get out, take out all these seeds and the veins, whatever I can. Okay, so I have my picadillo, have my pepper, then go a smaller spoon. Just being real careful not to make too much of a mess. Open it up. Start filling it up. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna grab some guacamole. Get some guacamole I did real quick. Just match with some lemon and, and salt and pepper. Then go ahead and grab my pepper some purple onion got some green zucchini Some yellow zucchini. Finely diced radish. Some purple onion. There it is. There you have it guys, that's my take on the stuffed Anaheim pepper. Some picadillo, potatoes, carrots, some peas, a little bit of fresh salad, There's some green um, zucchini, some yellow zucchini, some radish and a little onion. Okay, that's it for me for today guys. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, remember to pray for the meals and like always, stay true to the flavor. I'm gone.